Prime Minister Andrew Holness has finally decided to break his silence. What's the hot gossip, you ask? Well, hold on to your hats, folks, because it's a jaw-dropping revelation. Are you ready? Here it is, Andrew Holness had the audacity to speak out about his recent encounter with the infamous Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. And guess what? He simply couldn't care less. Yes, you heard it right, folks. Our Prime Minister, Andrew I Don't Care Holness, has thrown caution to the wind and dared to address the flurry of criticism heaped upon him by the ever-so-gracious British media. Apparently, the Sussexes had the temerity to hobnob with Mr. Holness during their star-studded attendance at the premiere of the Bob Marley One Love film in Jamaica. Shocking, I know. The British press wasted no time in labeling Prince Harry as insensitive for daring to pose with Jamaica's very own anti-royalist prime minister. Oh, the horror! The term anti-royalist refers to a message Holness delivered to Harry's brother, Prince William, during a 2022 Caribbean tour, suggesting that Jamaica might just be moving on from the monarchy and towards a republican system of government. Scandalous, right? But wait, there's more juicy tidbits to sink your teeth into. Another brilliant British commentator had the audacity to call Harry and Meghan's Jamaican visit tone deaf, coming at the very moment when poor King Charles was supposedly battling an undisclosed illness. How dare they visit Jamaica while King Charles is indisposed? The nerve. Now here's where it gets even juicier, my dear gossip mongers. Mr. Holness decided to speak his mind at the official launch of the Jamaica Screen Development Initiative. He expressed his delight at attending the premiere of the Bob Marley biopic, but claimed that he had no intention of meeting Harry and Meghan. Oh, how convenient. But guess what? He got sucked into the whole ordeal, becoming a pawn in the internal issues of the United Kingdom. It's almost like he's using this for publicity. Gasp! In the midst of chuckles and snickers, Mr. Holness shared that he had a delightful time on the film's production set, where he discovered that the actors were utterly enamored with Jamaica. It was like a homecoming for them, apparently. They were all about Jamaica's culture, Bob Marley, and the impact of the island on the world. Oh, the horror of it all. But what about Harry, you ask? Well, it seems our dear Prime Minister had no interest in meeting him or Meghan. In fact, it looks like Andrew Holness and his wife weren't exactly thrilled about rubbing shoulders with the royals. Can you believe it? Harry must be absolutely heartbroken. Now let's dive into the real scandal here. The clip of Meghan Markle whispering into Prince Harry's ear on a red carpet in Jamaica has gone viral. And guess what? Body language expert Judy James believes this could be sending a highly complex and cryptic message. Yes, you heard that right. Meghan, the master of secret communication, whispered something and Harry's smile disappeared. Scandalous, right? James even suggests that Meghan might have been reminding Harry not to forget to mention her voiceovers. How devious! 